How's it going everyone? For this video, let's go ahead and take a look at some awesome complications to use for our Apple Watch. Now this is going to be a somewhat follow up video from a previous video. If you missed the first one, I'll be sure to link it in the video description down below. But after that video, a lot of you guys suggested some really cool complications that I had no idea existed. Well in today's video, let's go ahead and review some of these and go over those new very useful ones. So let's get started. Now for those wondering, this is a Series 4 44mm size watch that we'll be using for demonstration. So if you're wondering what size display, now you know. And this is the Infograph watch face. I love using this watch face over others because it supports the most complications all in one watch face. And the overall design looks really nice and it's really easy to match with all types of different watch bands. But now with all that said, let's quickly talk about the watch battery complication that I have right here. You don't know how many comments I get regarding this complication. Battery phone is the name of this complication app. And what I like about this application is not only does it show the Apple Watch battery life, but it also shows your phone's battery life as well. The only thing you gotta be aware of about this application though, it doesn't update automatically. It updates every 5 minutes. But this never really bothered me to be really a, much of a con. Because since the complication is right there, if I tap on it, I could literally hit update right there and update right this second. Now next to that one, as you can see, I used air quality meter. This is an native complication by Apple. And if you live in a city like close to Los Angeles or areas that's very smoggy, I like to always keep my eyes on this, especially after the fires we had last year. Now the center complication right here is the weather app and this one is called Carrot. And it's a weather app that takes advantage of the upper part of the watch face right here if you guys can see and also gives you funny captions. And if you take a look at the circle, it shows us the weather, exact weather conditions with images with the graph of the temperature for the day. And then of course, like any other weather app, if you tap on it, it will also show us the future forecasts. So this next complication is called Cardiogram. What I like about this complication, you know how the Apple Watch regularly checks for your heart rate? Well with Cardiogram, it will actually give you your BPM numbers right here when your watch actually does it. So unlike the regular, the native heart rate complication, you only get a little heart icon right here. So if you do a lot of training like gym workouts, you're going to really enjoy this complication because you can actually see your heart rate right there while you're training. So you can stay focused on burning more calories and staying warm. So if you may imagine, it helps you keep your heart rate up. Now this next complication is just simply the activity rings by Apple. I like seeing these rings right here because it just lets me know throughout the day if I need to move more or if I've been sitting on my butt for too long. But one thing that these activity rings doesn't really display here is our step count for the day. Yes, you can click on the application to go in and check out that information, but I'd rather have it to show the numbers right here so I could quickly take a quick glance and know right away. That's where pedometer plus plus comes into play. This complication will show you your live numbers right there, the numbers of steps you have taken already. And if you click on it, you can see the exact graph right here as well. So we see our distance we travel and the stair steps we done. Now on the bottom here is Shazam. Now some may argue Siri could do this. Yes, you are correct. But the thing about that, I don't really like asking Siri out loud what kind of song is playing. With Shazam, I can simply just tap on it and it'll do it all silently. And lastly, the bottom complication right here is called Watch the Time. Now, and this complication, as you can see, combines both the time and the date all in one. This complication allows me to free up space for one complication because now they're all together. Because millennials don't know how to read analog. I'm just kidding, this isn't rocket science. But I do find it more convenient of just taking a quick glance of the little corner and automatically know the date and the time. So these complications at the time making this video, iOS 13 is still in beta as well as watchOS 6. But if you're still on iOS 12, and watch OS 5, these are fully supportive still. But if you are on both betas, the only complications that have been updated to support the beta is the battery phone now supports beta 3. As you see, it shows us our battery life percentage we have on our phone and our Apple Watch. Time Watch down here also is working just fine on this beta. And also the carrot complication is also working just fine on watch OS 6. The only complication that tends to work at times but not really, is Cardiogram, previously mentioned the step tracker complication. But when the official OS for watchOS 6 is finally released, expect all these complications to work just fine. This was just a small updated video. 
But that's going to be it for this video on the list of awesome complications. If you want to find out where to download these, I'll be sure to link them all in the video description down below. So if you found this video informative, useful, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate if you actually leave this video a like. Get subscribed if you haven't already. And feel free to comment down below what are your complications that you believe should also be on this list. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video again. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.